Coming up next, I'm going to do a quick little comparison of two of the most famous Chanel fragrances in the last, I don't know, 15 years. Bleu de Chanel versus Allure Homme. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And today just gonna do kind of a, a different little video for me, uh, comparing two really famous designer fragrances, two legends, one that I've actually owned before, which is Bleu de Chanel. Uh, there's different, of course, variations. I've talked about flankers before, you know my opinions on flankers. But you have, um, let's see, what I'm gonna compare here today, because I, well, let me show you. So the other day I go, you may have seen videos, I go to the Chanel boutique at the Brickell City Center Mall here in Miami quite a bit and you know get samples, try different things. They have their you know classic line, which is you know the designer line, like you know the Blue de Chanel's and the Allures. And then they have their exclusive line, which is you know the the Le Lions, the Sycamore Boy, uh, New Jersey, just you know all their exclusive lines. So Anyways, what I wanted to do was just kind of quickly compare off some decant samples. Two of their most famous, you know, two that came out, you know, around, I don't know, 1999, 2000s. You had Allure Ohm. This is one of their original, most, you know, really popular men's fragrances. That is the EDT version. And then you have Bleu de Chanel. This is the Parfum version, which came out really, I guess, in 2018. Um, you know, of course, it's a flanker from the original EDT version of Blue de Chanel. And this one, again, is the EDT version of Allure Homme, which came out in 1999. Both were created by the in-house perfumer, legendary perfumer, Jacques Polge. Uh, so he composes not only their exclusive line, but also their kind of designer, you know, line. So anyways, I'm just going to spray both. You can see, just to kind of see the, the decant, if you have never seen their kind of decants, really doesn't have much information, doesn't say anything about the fragrance in there, uh, just has a picture of the bottle, so if you've never seen the bottle, that's what the bottle looks like. I'm gonna spray this right now, first on my left hand, give you my kind of impression of it. All right, so what am I gonna say, this is Again, it's got that DNA. I talk about this all the time. That designer DNA, it's like MSG. It's, you know, that, that come, kind of, that, that it's like a salty. Um, maybe MSG is not the proper comparison. I, I do talk about that a lot, but I think what one of the other things that's really common among top designer, like Aqua de Gio, Dior Sauvage, these Chanel designer, Spice Bomb, it's that saltiness. And you know, think about it, salt, french fries, salt in food, salt gives flavor. Salt, I think, in cooking, because I cook a little bit, when used properly, obviously enhances flavor. But it can also, when used too much, because you just over salt food, besides being bad for your health, it just gives you this bland, kind of overdone. And so, this is nice, I like, I like it, but again, I'm just, going off on a tangent about kind of designer fragrances that really over the last 10 years there's been that marine salty kind of taste or feel, smell. <laughs> so it definitely, you got that lemony, it's got some peach. I'm not really getting much ginger off the initial notes. I know it has ginger in there, but it's definitely, you know, that kind of citrusy, salty, classic, you know, designer fragrance. It's nice. I mean, you know, look, it's very nice. It's just very common. You know, what, what's, what's that saying? You know, don't be basic. Don't be a basic bitch. <laughs> uh, this is one of my problems with designer fragrances. I don't want to be a basic bitch and I don't want my subscribers to be basic bitches. So, um, but having said that, this is now Bleu de Chanel Parfum and Let's see, this one, let me see. I would say, how would I describe this? 
very similar, less, it's got the lemon. I'm gonna go back and forth here. So the Blue de Chanel to me has less of that kind of salty, overdone salty smell. To me, now maybe it's because it's the parfum, it's, to me I smell more of the mint. They both have mint, but I do get a little bit more of mint in the Blue de Chanel. I get, to me, it's just, to me it's better blended. Um, again, this is a quick comparison here, but just this is obviously off the top. This is off that first impression. But a lot of times this is important because people buy fragrances, let's face it, usually off what they smell. I totally recommend, you know, do not recommend buying off that, but a lot of people when they're going through the department stores, whether it be Nordstrom's, Macy's, you know, whatever, they're getting sprayed by somebody or they're spraying it quickly and they're making a decision. And so if your mom making a decision on these two right off that initial, you know, this is tough. It's really tough. I don't love either one because that's why. So this is why this is very difficult for me. But I did want to make this video to kind of make a decision off a of first impression smell. So, you know what? After kind of, you see me, I'm going back and forth here. This is Blue de Chanel. This is Allure. I'm going. I guess I'm, you know what? This is tough. I've, I've gone back and forth. I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm literally sitting going Allure, Blue de Chanel. But in the end, I'm going the Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. I just think it's a little bit more different. I think the Allure Homme is very nice. It's very pleasant. I'm sure it's very complimenting. And by the way, if you're looking for compliment getting fragrances, I, you know, I don't really do a ton of videos on that because to me, that's just, I, I, if you're wearing fragrances to get compliments, then maybe you got other issues. <laughs> I mean, of course we all like compliments. I'm not saying I don't like them. We, we all like them, but that's, if, if you're wearing that, um, then, you know, I don't know. Try to get compliments for other things for your personality or whatever, but uh, kind of riffing here today. Impromptu video. I hope you guys like this a little bit, but you know what? All right, I'm going, I'm going the Blue de Chanel Parfum. It's just to me, it's got a little bit more distinctiveness. It's not quite as generic as the Allure Homme, which is very nice, but it's a little bit more generic. It's a little bit more of that typical mass appealing. The Blue de Chanel, again, falls in that category of this kind of salty, almost marine, whatever you want to call it, fruit, citrusy, very popular designer top, but it's got a little, it's got a little bit more going on there. And I, I think maybe, maybe because it's the parfum level, so it's going to be a higher concentration of oil that's just giving it, you know, maybe it's the ISO E super. I do like cedar, the Tonka. It's just got something that's sticking through a little bit. It's hard to describe that just gives it a little bit of a different edge that separates it a little bit more. So really close call. Again, neither of them really particularly do I love. I do understand why they're popular. I do understand why people would smell them and give you compliments. I, my experience has been that the number one compliment getter type fragrances, if that's what you're looking for, are these mass produced designer level citrus marine salty fragrances. Again, it's like salting your food. I mean, yeah. It's gonna taste great going down initially, like really salty french fries, but it's not gonna be good overall in the long run. And I think that's the same with these fragrances, but that's my little you know, personal opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you like better? The Bleu de Chanel Parfum or the Allure Homme? Again, so we, the Allure Homme, Allure Homme versus Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joel the Nose. Again, please subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys on the next video.